Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I will tell you the pros and cons of alternative energy. Alternative energy is the kind of energy that does not come from fossil fuels. It is called alternative because it offers an alternative to the exhaustible source of energy or the fossil fuels. Alternative energy usually comes from the renewable energy sources, which means that they have accessibility and availability and do not run out. For example, the solar energy or the wind energy. These energy sources are not exhaustible and can be harnessed easily. Their sources are constantly available. In fact, we are always surrounded by them. The other example of alternative energy is bioenergy and biofuels like palm oil, ethanol, etc. In the bygone centuries, coal was considered to be an alternative source of energy since the wood from the forest was running out. And when, 100 years later, coal started to deplete, then petroleum was thought to be the alternative. When all of the precious fuels like coal, oil, etc. started to deplete considerably, then it arose the concern of the scientist. In 1950s and 1960s, ethanol came into play as an alternative oil source and many of the nations in the world world welcomed this change. In 2000s, due to the overuse of harmful carbon emitting energy sources, biomass alternative energy sources were introduced. The alternative energy is clean and does not give off harmful material into the environment. It does not pollute the environment. Because of all of these prerequisite qualities of alternative energy, nuclear power is not still accepted as an alternative energy source. The radioactive material releases of high toxic residues, which makes it more harmful than beneficial. Due to the building pressure of population and overuse of resources, every nation in the world is bound to put more research into finding unique sources for the alternative energies. Types of alternative energies are solar energy, hydro energy, tidal energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, biomass, fuel cells, etc. Now I'll tell you about the good and bad side of the alternative energy. Now the pros. It is renewable. As suggested by the world itself, alternative or renewable sources of energy can be easily replenished. They will not run out. Therefore, there would never be a panic to find alternative energy source to the existing alternative energy sources. They are quite reliable source of energy. Unlike the fossil fuels that may get exhausted, like the solar energy or the wind energies, these sources are more likely to stay with us forever and to harness the energy from these sources would mean ensuring for ourselves a secure future energy wise. Since we are on the verge of running out of our oil and gas sources, our economy is always fluctuating. With alternative sources of energy coming into play, this factor can be controlled. It is environment friendly. The alternative energy sources do not give off any harmful toxins or gases in the environment. They are also carbon emissions free, which means they do not have any harmful effect on Earth's environment or the ozone layer. There are not any toxic substances disposed of into the water from alternative source of energy, unlike non-renewable sources of energy. It is easy to maintain. These sources of energy call for an easy way to maintain it. Take for example the solar energy. There is absolutely nothing that needs to be done to maintain this alternative source of energy. Whatever bit of maintenance is required, it is required for maintaining the equipment with which the alternative energy is to be harnessed. Now I will tell you about the cones of the alternative energy. There is inconsistency. Consistency is not a big forty for the alternative energy sources. Since the whole concept of harnessing unlimited energy from an alternative source of energy means that the source will be vast and never ending. Which means 
that there is no start and end to the source. Therefore, there is no way to control the source. This non-authority over the source leads to inconsistency. For example, there might be times when the winds will not blow in its full force, which would mean that it will not move the turbines on the wind farms with proper force. Since most of the alternative energy sources are natural, therefore lack of natural factors have an impact on the energy that is harnessed from the alternative energy sources. Now set up cost. The initial setting up cost for the alternative energy plant is usually very high and requires a considerable amount of investment. Since harnessing energy from the natural sources is not an easy task, the tools and equipments designed to do it are usually technologically very advanced and are quite costly. Also the research on finding new source for the alternative energy is also an extensive process. It requires for a big investment of time and resources. Now there is global acceptance. Due to easy availability of fossil fuels or non-renewable energy, people are not much bothered about the alternative energy. Also because there is no definite continuous availability of the alternative energy, the general criteria is to keep using the existing sources of energy. This disadvantage can be solved if people are educated on the issue of the harmful effects of using fossil fuels. Now I will tell you the pros of hydroelectricity pros. There is abundant water available on the surface of earth. By harnessing energy from this abundant source, we will secure for ourselves a constant supply of energy. Hydro, hydroelectricity can be easily produced. All we have to do is construct a reservoir, store water in it and manipulate its movement and flow. Once it is achieved, then the supply of, of energy is guaranteed. Generally, these reservoirs are beautiful scenic sites. They offer a recreational haven and promote boating and fishing. Now, what are the cones of hydroelectricity cones? It can be significantly impact the environment by destroying the habitat of many animals, endangering their survival. Also the forest and towns in the area where the dams are constructed suffer from a considerable amount of demolition. Producing hydroelectricity is only possible where there is a good supply of water or proper water sources available. Now tidal energy pros. It is a non-polluting source of energy with a lot of potential for sustainability. Harnessing energy from tides is a reliable source of energy since there would always be a momentum in the tides that can be used to work in the favor of producing ample energy. Now what are the cones? The technology is still in its initial stages, stages and not fully formed. It is supposedly going to be costly affair to finally be able to devise a method to produce energy from tides. There could be environmental and marine disruption due to the construction of equipments to produce energy from tides. There is a geographical restriction in producing tidal energy as seas or oceans with ample amount of tides are not situated in the every part of the world. Now solar thermal energy pros I will tell you. It is a sustainable source of energy and the cost to set up equipments that can harness energy from the sun is very low. It is available in abundance and can be designed perfectly to provide energy even to small households. Producing solar thermal energy is a well tried and tested technology now. There are no loopholes in the process. It produces no pollution at all and costs to maintain it is negligible. To promote the use of solar thermal energy Government is providing tax incentives in many countries around the world. Still, there is a cone in solar thermal energy. There could be less amount of energy produced on higher latitudes due to the irregularity sun in those areas. There cannot be any energy produced during the night time due to the absence of the sun. It is completely process it is a complicated process where a lot of storage and backup is needed. Now wind energy pros. It is a sustainable source of energy producing no water or air pollution. 
Energy can be produced perpetually, especially in the areas where strong wind blows constantly. The technology to produce wind energy is in its working stage and the cost to maintain it considerably low. There are cones of wind energy. It is dependent on many geographical and environmental factors like local weather conditions, patterns, temperature and locations. Initial setup expense is very high. Now, geothermal rows. It is a sustainable source of energy where energy can be produced continuously day and night. It does not produce any pollution and is considerably free after spending money on the initial setup. But still there is a geothermal energy cones. The reservoirs for geothermal energy are limited and not available everywhere and they need to be continually recharged with water as it keeps steaming. The groundwater is potentially contaminated in the process of producing geothermal energy. Environmental pollution can be caused as carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide can be released from geothermal plants. Now I'll tell you about the pros of ethanol energy. It is a reliable source of alternative energy for fossil fuels. It produces less amount of carbon dioxide as compared to coal or petroleum. I'll tell you about the cones of ethanol energy. Since food crops are needed to produce ethanol, the prices of food and livestock feeds goes higher. There is a high energy consumption involved in the process of producing ethanol but does not produce as much energy. Ethanol is highly corrosive on some metals. So thank you. Please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comments.